Melon is sponsoring me to teach you how to add apps, tips, goals, social sharing, all through their web interface. You don't need all this complex gear like I have in my home studio to be able to do a high quality stream or recording. You can just use their web-based app, it's great. Link below if you wanna check that out. Let me show you where these extra functions are within Melon. All right, so what you're gonna do is click over here on the menu bar in Melon. You're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see the apps section right here, click that. There's gonna be a number of options available for you right over here, including widgets, widgets, CloudBot, and Socials. So we're gonna start with widgets. So this is like a classic Streamlabs. If you're not already familiar with Streamlabs, it's a platform that allows you to add things like on-screen pop-ups when people follow or donate and what have you. Let me show you how to do that. We're gonna click Connect, and what it's gonna do is pull up a window uh, for you to go through the authentication process to connect your Streamlabs. If you don't already have a Streamlabs account, you'll need to sign up for one. I already have one, it auto-connected for me. I'll let you go through that step, pause the video, then join me again. Now, once you have connected that functionality in Streamlabs, you have the option to turn on your alert box and to turn on your donation goals if you see fit here within um, your uh, pane that shows you the preview of your broadcast. And as you can see, it displayed those two items on the screen. So you can hit the play button over here and it will play an example of that alert on the screen so you can see it. So you no longer have to use OBS, you no longer have to use XSplit or Streamlabs OBS necessarily to get these on-screen pop-ups. You can do it using Melon a much slimmer and easier to, uh, to use functionality. And whenever you want those items to be turned off, you can just scroll them off over here on the sidebar. Now, if you want to change your donation settings, you can click the donation settings button here. It will pop up an entirely new tab. Uh, my editor is gonna edit out my impersonal information, but that will take you over to the Streamlabs dashboard. Not gonna cover all of that in this tutorial. There's very, very detailed, uh, items that are required in here to set all of that up. But just so you know, all of those settings are available in the Streamlabs dashboards to uh, customize your alert box and your donation goals. So all those two types of widgets are available through Melon, which is really cool. Also, Streamlabs has built something called a cloud bot. Let's go ahead and add the cloud bot. It will need to add your Streamlabs account to add cloud bot. But basically, you can connect cloud bot for Twitch and you can connect cloud bot for YouTube and those that'll enable those two functions for you here in Melon. And then if you want to go through your cloud bot settings, you can pull up your Streamlabs dashboard by clicking that and you can go through here and CloudBot basically gives you a chat bot in your side chat on Twitch and YouTube that does moderation functions for you, can get rid of the garbage and can help you engage your audience more through things like entertainment and what have you. It's got all of these protection functions, keeping all caps out, links out, words out, etc. And you can also do fun stuff like polls and betting and giveaways and everything under the sun with CloudBot. I'm not gonna do a full tutorial on CloudBot here. I just want you to know that you can add CloudBot for Twitch and YouTube directly into Melon, which is awesome. So you don't have to go through a complex system in order to have those functions that can make your streams more entertaining. And the last element I wanna show you here, which is very handy <laughs> for streamers that are using Twitter to just l notify your followers that you are live. Socials by Twitter is really, really simple. It's really easy, right? You just connect your Twitter account by clicking that connect button. I, it will go through an authentication process for you, and then it'll have this locked and loaded over here on the sidebar. So what you can do is you can enable, if you want, tweet on go live here. So whenever you click the go live button and you activate live streams here, it'll automatically send that tweet out through your Twitter feed so you don't have to go live and then awkwardly type that in on Twitter. It's a nice little thing to, to set you up for a custom uh, experience uh, so that you don't have to waste time during your live stream. What do I mean by custom? This. So go ahead and customize your tweet message and make it something good, okay? And what you can do is you can add your platform and your URL here. You can add whatever copy you want 
Definitely don't use the generic copy, obviously. Do something engaging that describes precisely what you will be streaming and what the value is to your audience. If you don't tell your audience what the value is before you go live and before you tweet, then why would they click? And if you wanna remove any of these items at any time, you can just click the disconnect Streamlabs button and it will disconnect it. And you can also click the disconnect Twitter button here and you can disconnect it and those features go away, just like that. It's really simple. All of those integrations are built into Melon, just making live streaming easier. I wish I had this 10 years ago. Seriously, all this stuff used to be just manual, not automatic and easy like this in the dashboard, but Melon makes it easy. So check out the link below if you wanna use Melon. It's such an easy entry level and just easy to use web-based solution for streaming and recording. I love it. Adios amigos.